paracetamol or acetaminophen hepatotoxicity and treatment. Paracetamol at therapeutic dose has very good safety profile. However, paracetamol overdose is the most common cause of acute hepatic failure. But how paracetamol overdose induces such notorious fatal hepatic failure? To answer this question, we'll go through the metabolism of paracetamol under both therapeutic and overdose concentrations. Under recommended therapeutic doses, 95% of paracetamol are conjugated in the liver into both sulfate and glucuronide moieties, which are non-toxic conjugates that can be readily excreted by the kidney. However, a small percentage, around 5% of paracetamol, is oxidized by cytochrome P450 isozyme system in the liver. This oxidation process results in the production of N-acetyl-P-benzoquinone imine molecule, abbreviate as NAPKI. NAPKI is a very toxic intermediate metabolite. It can induce severe acute hepatic necrosis. Fortunately, the glutathione molecules in our liver rapidly conjugate NAPKI molecules to produce non-toxic metabolites that can be peacefully excreted by the kidney. Thank you very much, glutathione. However, when large amount of paracetamol is ingested either as suicidal attempts or accidental overdose, the conjugation machines, even at their maximum capacities, cannot safely process the flooding of paracetamol molecules. Therefore, large percentage of paracetamol molecules are directed toward CYP450 isozymes oxidation system, which sadly results in the production of massive amounts of the severely toxic NAPK molecules. Surely, our glutathione friends will do their maximum efforts to neutralize the evolving toxic NAPK, but unfortunately, we have limited storage of the precious glutathione. And as expected, huge amount of toxic napki will accumulate in the liver, inducing acute hepatic necrosis. The question which confused the scientists over long years is, why paracetamol induces hepatotoxicity even at therapeutic doses in a very small percentage of population? To answer this question, we must go back to the paracetamol metabolic pathways under therapeutic concentrations. There are two explanations for this rare phenomena. Either abnormalities in the cytochrome P450 oxidation system or abnormalities in glutathione conjugation system. Let's start with the CYP450 isozymes oxidation system. Indeed, many CYP450 isozymes have been involved in oxidation of paracetamol and production of NAPKI. It has been discovered that one of these isozymes, specifically CYP2D6, has genetic polymorphism. And as a result, few percentages of population have ultra-rapid and extensive CYP2D6 activities. Therefore, these unfortunate people produce large amount of napki even at therapeutic doses of paracetamol. To clarify this tricky point, 
we will compare the metabolism of therapeutic paracetamol doses in both normal people and in those with extensive and ultra-fast CYP2D6 isozyme. In the hepatocytes of the unlucky people, the very active CYP2D6 isozymes will vacuum up large percentage of paracetamol molecules towards the oxidation system, where they produce huge amount of the toxic NAPKE molecules. And as usual, our glutathione friends will work hard to divert NAPKE molecules toward much safer pathways. But unfortunately, the amount of NAPKE produced by oxidation system exceeds the detoxification capacity of glutathione conjugation system. Thus, huge amounts of NAPKE will find their way to destroy our lovely liver. It is worthy notice that alcohol enhances the activities of CYP450 isozymes. Therefore, alcohol produces larger amount of NAPKE, even at therapeutic concentration of paracetamol. Now, we will go to other explanation for the weird toxic potentials of paracetamol even at therapeutic doses in some unfortunate people. And this time, it is attributed to glutathione conjugation system. It has been reported that the precious glutathione storage is low in infants, malnourished, alcoholics, malabsorption, and in some elderly. In these people, the NAPKE detoxification ability is low. Therefore, as you can see from the diagram to the left, more NAPKE are accumulated in the liver even at therapeutic concentrations of paracetamol. Paracetamol acetaminophen hepatotoxicity is an emergency, and if we don't intervene promptly within first hours, the liver might be irreversibly damaged. Among the suggested measures to save the liver of the intoxicated patient is to give the paracetamol's antidote, which is N-acetylcysteine, abbreviated as NAC. NAC is a precursor of glutathione. Therefore, intravenous administration of NAC will reinstate the storage of glutathione. The evolving level of glutathione will vacuum up the NAPKE toward the safe conjugation pathway, which produce non-toxic conjugates that are peacefully excreted by the kidney, and hopefully far less amount of NAPKE will remain available to induce hepatotoxicity. Additionally, NAC enhances the sulfate conjugation pathway, which directs more paracetamol from the toxic oxidation pathway toward the safer conjugation pathway. Hopefully you find this video helpful. My best wishes from Dr. Jihad Hamad. This video was narrated by Hala Judah, a medical student at Islamic University of Gaza.